Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so as you can see from the previous clip, I have been successful in finding the new Monster High signature Torlai doll. So this is a Walmart exclusive. She is $24.94. Here she is in her box. See her little art over here that it won't focus on. That's fun. There we go. Um, there's Claudine and Cleo. I almost, I wonder if this, like, choice of characters is indicative of the relationships she's going to have in the show. Um, I assume that these two will still probably be rivals, but I wonder, yeah, I don't know. Well, I, I don't know. She seems like a main character now, so I'm not sure what their plans are, but I am excited to see, um, what the future holds. All right, here is her little pictures. Here's the back of the box. Just Torlai thrown in to the regular back. Um, I don't know if I really care for the back of this box. Stylistically, I don't know. It's just kind of like a lot of empty space, I feel like. But anyways, let's see. She says, this camera is not working with me today. Ferocious Werecat is her monster type. Monster must-haves are scratch mark choker and perfect. Wait, sorry perfectly chilled milk box and her monster pet is sweet fangs here is her barcode lovely lovely um so this doll was not out on the shelves i had to find i had to have the employee scan the barcode and then there was four of her in the back oh now that i'm looking at her her eyes are like way different sizes but she was the best one so i'll live but <laughs> okay <laughs> Unboxing TikTok, here we go. All right, everyone, I have Torlai out of the box. I've had her out of the box for about an hour. <laughs> I got stuck in another TikTok scrolling loop. They just never end once you start. It's a serious problem. But anyways, let's get what she comes with. So Torlai has um, a microphone now. I guess she's a singer, um, which is ironic considering she was canonically a terrible singer last time but you know uh the whole pop punk thing really fits her it's just like not what i would have expected but anyways the microphone is shaped like a cat or is it a cat or is it a mouse um i think it's supposed to be a cat but anyways it's got little cat ears and then a little tail and it's held by a hand microphone stand thing what is on my finger that's gross anyways and then the base is a spider web and yeah, it is that. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Is the bottom? Yep. Oh. All right. So that's our answer to that. Very interesting. And then we have her cell phone that has all these little apps. I think that's her original Skolette right there, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Super cute. Can we? There we go. Uh, it has a little cat holding it. Uh, it's very grainy and pixelated looking, and the back has the rest of the cat, which is really cute, actually. And then she comes with this little can of, like, anchovies, maybe? It uh, has a little cat eating them, and there's even, like, a little nutrition facts thing. It's just hollow on this part, but it's cute. And this is the funniest thing ever. <laughs> she comes with a freaking gallon of milk, or a carton of milk, which I think is hilarious. And, oh, there's even a tail on that. And then we have her little backpack, which has the Hisfit logo, which I presume is her band. There's a little rat on a feather right there, and or I guess it's a mouse, and there's spikes, and they're actually a little, like, pointy, like, they kind of hurt a little bit. But anyways, she has little claw marks, and then one strap, which is a design choice, and then it opens. So you can stick all her little doohickeys in here. I don't see one two, three, look at that, you can put everything in there, how fun, how cute, the His Fits, and then she also has the His Fits t-shirt, uh, which is like a bleach, like, you know, when you throw bleach on a shirt thing, design moment, uh, it says His Fits, has a little cat on there, and little scratch marks, and it just uses a on the back, and it's on a little paper hanger, um, yeah, a little pink collar, or purple collar. It's, it's cute. And then we have, oop, back this away. Oh my gosh. Uh, Sweet Fangs here, who, if you put next to a Cave Club pet, you would not be able to tell the difference. <laughs> um, 
The printing on Sweet Fangs looks a lot cleaner than it did on my Crescent. Uh, the eyebrows are pretty pixelated. I don't know why he's looking at me like that. Um, I feel like he's judging me. And I don't know how I feel about that, but you know, he has blue stripes on his hand. Oh, this little collar I think is removable. Yeah, so that's removable. If I could just get off. Okay. Uh, so you could probably use that in Torlai, honestly. Ooh. If you really wanted to. He has a little tail. He's cute. Um, I don't know why it looks like his head can move because it can't very much. Um, and yeah, he doesn't feel hollow like Crescent did. I, I feel like Crescent felt hollow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he feels like not hollow and Crescent feels really hollow. So I don't know what's up with that. But anyways, here he is next to his original counterpart. Quite the difference, I must say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, now let's get into okay, So here is a quick little comparison of our two Torilais. Um, This is my childhood Torilai, guys. Like this Torilai I've had since she came out and she still looks, you know, pretty decent. Her face looks really shiny. Um, I should probably wash her down with some rubbing alcohol, but you know, Monster Tri Paint is scary. But yeah, I think she looks pretty decent for being as played with as she is. But that, and that aside, uh, as you can see, like the heads are obviously very, very different. Um, you know, the eyes aren't even that super different. Uh, they're obviously like shaped differently, but like the pupils and stuff are pretty similar other than, you know, the added color. Uh, I think her, her head's a lot more chiseled now. Um, like she has a much more defined chin and jawline and let's see if it's over here she doesn't have the stripes on her face obviously um and she has a cat nose now and the stripes are on the top or on her cheeks i said she's on her face she doesn't have her cheeks anymore they're on the top i do wish she would have retained like the spotting um especially because in like the animation you can see that she has it um, and I would have liked that to retain, but other than that, I'm pretty content with her. She has some beauty mark now. Um, the ears are different too. You see there's like, let's move it up a little bit. Hold up. The original tour light has the one regular ear and then the ear that has a little notch in it. Uh, this tour light actually has notches on both ears. If you look in the back, it's just a little bit lower down and the ears are a lot larger. Oh, get back on the stand, get back on the stand. And the old toilet has like more stripes, but you know, I think we all know that. Right? She has more stripes going up the leg. Oh, she only has three? This whole time? I thought she had way. Oh, no, okay, okay, that's what I thought. All right. See, because they go all the way up her leg and they only go, there's only two of them on this one. So yeah. And the tail has, you know, fur now and y'all you know, like, know. Y'all know at this point. Like, I just want to show y'all the faces. The difference in the faces. Anyways, let's get back into her face. So, I sw she looks like so wonky on camera, but in person she does not look that wonky. <laughs> that is the like this is the weirdest phenomenon ever. <laughs> but anyways, so she has like a pink eyeshadow on her inner corners with a yellow eyeshadow on the lid and the crease, and then like a little bit of orange shadow eyeshadow I'm gonna stand there. I mean, she, she just got, you know, she got one of them rainbow palettes. It was like, girl, you just use all the colors, all the colors. Anyways, she has these thick old brows. She's kind of raising her brow at us because she's like, why are you talking about me? And then she has, um, it's like, they look, they don't look as pink in, on camera, but in camera, they're almost like a hot pink lip. Um, I don't know what that black dot is. It's not, oh, I wish I would not have seen that. Oh, she also has the fur on her um, face now as well. And we can see on top, she has some earrings. So they're just like little cuff earring or cuffs. Yeah, I guess they're cuffs, hoops, earrings. Um, and they're all the same sculpt. There's two silver and one red. There is hair on the inside of her ear now. There's a little fur. You can see she has a side part with red, orange, and pink blended into her hair and it's very long um i kind of wish she had the short hair from the original animation picture just because i think it suits the look a little bit better um but that's just me i'm not like a hater of the long hair by any means Tor oh my gosh 
paralyzed dolls literally more of them more of them have long hair than they have short hair uh the rooting's pretty dense as you can see so that's nice that's good that's good and it's actually so soft like right out of the box like i was really shocked at how nice it felt especially because the ghoul spirit one did not feel like that so that was nice now moving on she has this little choker um what's on it like a little scratch mark type of thing on it so that's fun i like the choker that comes with the other doll better the ghoul spirit one because it's like a little freaking bell which i think is hilarious does she have a she has like a dent in her chin that's annoying <laughs> whatever um so she's wearing a pleather a red pleather jacket and the jack the pleather is actually a lot thicker than i thought it was gonna be so that's nice uh it's not hemmed on the collars so that's unfortunate but it does have a collar so i think that's nice there's a little purple cat scratches on it is there anything on the back oh the print goes all the ways around that's nice that's fun that's cute uh, i will say that her arm uh the way it was packaged is like it's like bent now so i'll have to fix that and then there is two stripes on this arm by the way and she has some fur and she has her little claws little claws some gloves would have been cute with this look actually and then she's wearing this little tank top right here it's a white tank top with some orange detailing around the collar and a cat which is the his fits cat i'm pretty sure like the same i don't know it's different Never mind, I take it back. Just a random, like, hyper-realistic cat on the, you know, uh, anamorphic cat doll. Um, you know, it, it's, it doesn't make you question things. It doesn't, it's not jarring or anything. It's just, you know, it's a, it's a design. Um, and then she has this high-waisted skirt, which I almost thought was the same pattern as the Ghoul Spirit Freak. Oop, I'm not even looking at it on the camera. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, here's her little skirt. Uh there we go so it's like a high-waisted pleated skirt moment um it's really cute so it has like a pink grid plaid pattern on it and then there's like yellow scratch marks all around it um, let's just like get rid of that and the new tail like does not come out just the heads up and they just kind of sew around it um for the whole well actually there is like a separate like, there's a separation in the velcro so and the print goes all the way around so that's lovely she has this little silver belt has a little paw on it and little bells and it's just like a long chain dangly chain belt so yeah that's cute i love that their tail has fur on it now i think that's adorable oh what was that i think it's funny that like they spent all this time putting the fur on like these their feet but then like it's not even visible in the end but anyways so for some reason in generation three everybody owns doc martens and that is it but i mean they're cute they're getting a lot of well i think they're all different sculpts too that's the funny part i don't know if these are supposed to be socks they look like they are i don't really like that they're sculpted um but you know whatever so they're white doc martin style boots with black soles there is some claw marks on oh, oh you see that Mm, let me get into that so there's claw marks on both sides and there is black laces and more red claw marks these little freaking yarn ball things are removable for some stupid reason i don't know why and it's irritating me because they keep flying off i don't know why they couldn't have made it a full freaking loop but they didn't so yeah they fall off easily heads up <laughs> the bottom has a little paw print on them so yeah and you know we got the chest joint chest joint how fun is that super articulated all right that's it right yeah okay so let's get her in the his fit shirt oh and i got this new spinny thingy i don't know if it'll like you can see it i got it on amazon it was only 13 bucks and it's my new favorite thing so basically you just like this is a terrible angle but it spins How fun is that? It's so much better than that one. That one's manual. This one just like, wow. Look at her go. Okay, let's get into this. <laughs> what? Let's 
Like, oh my gosh. Why? Why do they package her like that? Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> All right, guys. So here she is wearing the His Fit shirt. You know, I'm not really sure that this goes together, but it is very Gen Z of her to put on a shirt with a skirt that doesn't match and some boots and say she has her own personal, unique style sense. So we'll let it slide. And honestly, I kind of, I'm digging the vibe. Like I'm digging the vibe of it. You know, she looks like she's going to the concert, even though she's the lead singer. And you know, I kind of live for it. Um, so yeah. This hair is probably going to end up getting cut. I'm not going to lie to you. I really like it short. I've seen somebody cut it short and it looks so good. Um, but also, I really like long hair. I'm conflicted. Um, I'll probably cut it. But anyways, that is going to wrap it up for Tour Life. Can you believe that it's the beginning of a reboot and we already have two Tour Life dolls? Like, that's crazy, right? Like, it's kind of wild. Kind of, oh, see, look, if you put it like this, she looks a lot less wild on camera she's an interesting doll for sure i have grown to like her a lot um especially like when i first saw her i was like oh she is disgusting but nope here i am standing and yeah i hope i find everybody else soon i'm so excited for them but yeah thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time moi uh oh wait make sure to comment and rate and subscribe and follow my socials and okay now i can say see you guys next time all right all right all right bye bye Mwah. Mm.